Welcome back to the redo of the 52 cards I made in 2021. This is a full deck redo in 2022. I'm remaking each and every card that I did last year, 52 and 52 days. This year, I'm doing them on a weekly basis. Today, we're going to redo the four and the five of diamonds and utilize the new foundry wax from Tim Holtz. I think it creates a very unique effect on the cards, and I'm liking it quite a bit. My name's Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and hit that subscribe button and join me as I complete the second deck. We are 13 cards in the first suit complete. We are on the fifth card in the second suit, so there's still a long way to go, and I'd love to have you join me as we finish this deck. On the four and five of diamonds, I am utilizing a black cardstock as my base. I've just glued that down everywhere but on the corner where that uh, denomination for the card is, tearing that corner off with my tear ruler. And we'll get started with this foundry wax. The foundry wax needs to be shook. It has a ball bearing in the bottle. Shake it up to make sure that it's mixed. And we'll start with the mind, come back in with the statue in our second circle. We'll move on to the gilded, and then finish up this circle with the sterling. I think this has kind of a, a cosmos look to it. It looks kind of like a galaxy to me. Taking the sterling and just shaking it, battering it a little bit, and I'm going to come back and do that with the mind again. I don't think I show you that, but I splattered it with the sterling and then came back and splattered it with the darker color as well before I finalized the card. Now I'm going to heat set that, and it creates a very nice change as it um, sets up, and you can see it changing here. And I like this product. I think there are a tons, tons of uses for it. And I am just now starting to experiment with, this, with it. This is the second time I've used it. But, but it's a win for me. I, I really like the way it reacts. For the words, I've used the Tim Holtz words as well. And I have chosen Ridiculously Magic are the two words that I chose. And I will, I drug them through the foundry wax. That's what I'm going to do. I just put a little bit down and just drug the saying through to get the wax on the edge. And I will take my paintbrush and paint just a little bit on as well. I think that was a little easier than the drag. And I'll hit those with the heat tool and get the wax set up on the edges of my wording. If I can keep it from blowing off my, my table. But I thought that added a little interest to the words, having the edges with the wax. And I have these little dots that are going to create some height to the wording and have it stand out a bit. And I shall adhere that to the card. And that will complete the Four of Diamonds. So quick, simple, easy. But really, I think, looks like I spent a ton of time on it. I don't know. What do you think? I think that that wax just really creates a nice, nice card. I like it a lot. Now we'll move on to the Five of Diamonds. For the Five, this is the card we're going to be redoing, and it was a steampunk card, and I used some upholstery tacks and that card took me forever to make in last year. And um, it's going to be a hard one to, 
to redo or a hard one to top because I created the the little lady's body, gave her a lace petticoat, and uh, her little uh, bustier was out of uh, upholstery tack. So th- this is going to be a tough one, but I I think I have an idea. I'm I'm going to start just like we started with with the other, getting a black foundation in place. I'm gluing my card to the black card stock once again and get it lined up and then I shall cut it out and reveal that corner. And I am putting this into, again, another Tim Holtz product, the Tim Holtz Gears embossing folder. Just tear that corner off and wipe off any glue residue. I'll take that over to my Big Shot, and we get a great embossed look on this card in black. And take my finger and just very, very lightly. I have a, an extremely, I can't express how light my touch is when I am touching this because I did not want to oversaturate this with the foundry wax. I wanted it to just really hit the highlights or the the embossed areas. So very, very, very light touch. I'm just going to set that with the heat. And I think we've created a steampunk card in pretty fast order. This, you know, this is about a 15-minute card versus the last year's, which was about an eight-hour, eight-hour piece of work for me. Now, the foundry wax is supposed to work on metal as well. These are little metal gears. I've covered the gear in the foundry wax, and it is adhering, and it is working. So that's, that's good news. And I'm placing this metal gear in the center of that embossed gear with just a bit of glitter glue. There we go. We'll let that glue dry. This glue dries clear. I'm just going to wipe off any, any residue and pull out my liquid pearls. And I am taking the copper liquid pearls, and just putting a tiny dot there in the center of that and hitting any little hole in that little gear with those copper pearls. And there we have it, two cards finished in pretty short order. And I'm happy with the way they turned out. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will come back and join me as we finish this deck And if you would like to share with me what you're doing, you can catch me on Instagram and just use that hashtag full deck redo 2022. Once again, thank you for being here. Please subscribe. Your thumbs up helped my channel considerably, and I appreciate that. And I love your comments. With that said, I shall say bye for now and see you on the Six of Diamonds.